Hey guys and welcome back to Tokaiden 2. We're picking up right where we left off after our character creator. Here we go. This looks like it's gonna do the thing where we have all this cool armor and equipment and then after the tutorial we're gonna lose all that stuff, right? So things have gone bad. Everything's on fire. Hi, my name is Jeff and I'm a glitchy silverfish. Everything's up fire. You guys know what that's from? You do? Alright. That's lock on attack. It's a square one, triangle two, yep. We've already been doing that. Focus on that. Alright, that brings up our skills. Just wasted that one. Oh, <laughs> we're just learning. Okay. It's, um, oh well. We wasted this. It's alright. It's just a tutorial. We're not gonna have any of this cool stuff after the tutorial, right? Right? I hope. Alright. So, yeah, instead of practicing the skills, I should probably just move forward and it's gonna tell me how to do everything, right? Instead of just mashing the buttons and learning it here? Yeah, probably. Probably. Probably a good idea, right? What is that? This guy. Let me zoom in again. That button. Okay, cool. Alright. Wasting way too much time here. I know. I'm sorry. Let's move forward. Let's go! The music's good. I like the music. Let's go. Try all our different attacks. There we go. Lock on. Arrow shots, that's cool. That's a cool attack. I don't know if I've ever seen that. I've, I always play... My first time in MMOs, I usually always pick the bow and arrow ranged classes. And I don't know if I've ever seen a skill where you have lock-on arrows. I can't remember. But that is a pretty cool skill. Alright. Roll. So R1 and L1. Bring up the powers. We don't want to do that. That's cool. Sun looks, I mean, the moon looks nice, too. Oops. It's a little premature. Oops. How do we do that? There we go. Mark all the targets. That is a cool skill to have. The bow and arrow. I really can't think of any other game that's done that. I'm sure there must be, but it's none of them off the top of my head. It actually kind of reminds me... I think of Batman... Arkham Knight? You driving the tank? Like that? I can't remember. Those, um... Scarecrow challenges or whatever. You can fight a giant scarecrow at the end of the thing. I think that's what that reminds me of. Alright. So this purple vision, I believe, marks our... Marks their critical points? I think? Something? Is their head looks orange, right? Am I just going crazy? I don't know. Looks like his head is, is uh, critical, so we should aim at his head. He's almost there. 
I mean, it shows his health too. It's a good thing to have. Bam, 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 bam. Such a cool skill. All right, here we go. Oh, interrupted. All right, let's actually cast one of these abilities here. There we go. Us to do this before we leave? I don't understand. Something. Oh, there must be an enemy or something we missed. Possibly? It's gotta be an enemy we missed. Pretty generous run. Stamina bar. But of course, I doubt this is going to be like this once we leave this area. Because oh, I just said I get out of my vision. Looks cool. I mean, it's it's not doesn't look fantastic, but I mean, I I do like the art style. The character design is kind of cool too. Like the size of the bow. All right, it's probably gonna be a boss, big open area, in the tutorial. Yep, here we go. It's gonna be bad. Let's not die. What is he doing? He's getting angry. Oh, cool. Alright, so he's got his feet in his hands are weak. Triangle and circle. Ooh. Give him the <laughs> oh my balls! No! Oops, crap. Crap, 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 I don't want to be underneath him. I don't know why, but that just reminded me of um, DMC, The Woman Cry 5. That like, pregnant lady boss fight. I don't know. Where'd he go? Didn't defeat him. To be continued. うん。何の不思議がある。戦場で兵を指揮する神羅号はどうした。ゲカイを怠るな。またどこから現れるかわからん。いずれにしろ、港は抑えた。ここを拠点に置いて。パスビナ。リーディングです。味方の動きは。レーザーの本体がおだわらから北上中。間もなく横浜に到着するとも思われ
No. It's three headed. And that's how we lose all our gear and all our levels. And we're going to be back to level one with no weapons and no armor. Oh, of course. What? Who are you? You look crazy. Robot. Grumpy old man. I like this style. Kind of reminds me a tiny bit of. I don't know. Final Fantasy? Not really Final Fantasy. There's that title card. 11 minutes in. Not bad. Not too late. Not too early. That's cool. Hopefully, there's like more. Cutscenes like that. Watch this little uh, bunny fox thing chase the butterfly. I feel like I've seen that loading screen before. Where like a bunny fox little thing there with a the big tail chasing a butterfly. I can't be the only one. That that That's definitely been in another video game or an anime or somewhere. I've seen that image before. I just can't think of what from. What was that game on the Xbox? Um, Xbox 360. It was... Um, I think it came to the PC and PlayStation 3 too. It was uh, something with like a cat. And you were like a ninja cat. And, like one guy made it. Oh, I can't think of it. Alright. So everything's 50-50-50. Still got our skills and abilities looks like. Which is nice. But uh, we don't have our cool bow or our cool armor anymore, which kind of sucks. This looks like we can change our classes because we got all the stats there for the different weapons. So maybe it's like a Final Fantasy XIV where uh, you equip the weapon and you change your class and you have separate levels. So that could be interesting. Nothing there. Alright. Thousand, thousand, sixty, fifty, fifty. Alright, anything here? Nothing unlocked yet. Nothing found. Alright, so that's cool. We got a little armory stand here. We can change our face. It's cool. Makeup and our hair. Lipstick, stuff like that. That's nice. I like that ability. Sometimes, you know, you don't want to look the same all the time. So it's nice that they have that ability to change. And it looks like it's free too, and we don't need to pay anything for it. Alright, so can we watch the cutscenes and movies and stuff? That's awesome. I like that feature. Kind of reminds me of. Um... Crap, I can't remember any of these names. Was it Disgaea? Yeah, Disgaea 5 had like that little story time vendor in the, the overworld or whatever it was called. So you got the soundtrack music too. This is pretty cool. You get access to all the music and the videos that you've um, played. So this is probably going to save the game. So why don't we save and uh, we'll call this a video and um, I'll see you guys in part three where uh, we actually play the game for real. So I will see you guys in the next video. So hit that subscribe button if you're brand new. Leave a like, comment, all that fun YouTube stuff. And I'll see you guys in the next video.